This is I think this is the longest it's sort of like taken between picks here. Okay. So wrestling. Wrestling. It says it's in, but we're we're still awaiting the strut here. Um come on. Here we go. We're strutting. We're, I'm going on mute. We're gonna have a guest come in here soon to chat. Oh, let's do it. Uh, I love it. Let's do it. Yeah, Matt, Matt like hit, hits mute because he has to listen to every pick because he's like a I don't even know if he's like a draft degenerate. Like, I don't know. We went Spursy. We went Spursy. Jeremy Sohan is the pick. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Jeremy Sohan. Yeah. I love this pick. I'm a big Jeremy Sohan fan. I am a So fan, as I mentioned last podcast. Uh, Absolutely adore him. Absolutely adore his defensive upside. I think he has a real offensive upside as well. He's the most switchable player in this draft class. You go back and you watch his tape. The game that obviously stands out is the North Carolina game where he was. Um, you know, guarding Armando Baycott at times on the block. He was guarding Caleb Love and RJ Davis at times uh, on the perimeter. It, it was really, truly impressive stuff. But he did this all year. Like, this is just who he is. And on top of it, I think he has real upside as a creator. Like, you look at some of his grab-and-go stuff in transition. Oh, yeah. I think that his ability to cover ground quickly. Uh, these are guys that in the past I've underrated. I think like Scotty Barnes and his ability to just yeah. cover ground at six foot nine. I think that's a really, really important critical skill that uh, just kind of goes underrated a little bit as we move through uh, the rest of this draft cycle. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I am uh, I'm a big Jeremy Sohan guy. I had him at number six on my board. This is a phenomenal pick for the San Antonio Spurs. It is. And I, I was talking to a basketball person about this today a little bit. Not this pick, but just sort of the mold as like, I, don't, I don't see Jeremy Sohan really as a five, but you watch what Golden State did in the playoffs, and and granted, Golden State's a little different because they have four guys that are going to bomb from 40 feet away and, like, good luck. But they went small. They ran all of the court. Uh, they did different lineups with like, Otto Porter. They did different lineups with Kevon Looney, as we saw earlier. Draymond Green is a five at six foot six. That style of basketball, Jeremy Sohan fits, where he can run around, defend. He's a pretty good passer. You want the jumper to come around. The free throw numbers aren't great to say that it's going to. But if he adds like another piece or two offensively, the defense does so much that's going to keep him on the floor. I know generally San Antonio is slower and bring along their guys. They won't rush that either. But I think the defense will get him on the floor faster than a traditional rookie would. 